My topic is great faith. Faith that surpasses all understanding. Great faith isn't about how much biblical knowledge you know, uh, how much scriptures you memorize and can recite. It's about knowing how good God is, how faithful he is, and knowing that he's in control of everything that happens. What is faith? Faith is a deep confidence that the promise of God will come to pass. Hebrews 1, Hebrews 11 and 1, excuse me, says that faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. So that means that faith sees farther than the eye can see. It sees way past all your doubt and what other people says. It sees what God says. Okay, we're going to talk about the Roman um, officer and the Matthews. This parable, I believe, is, is the best example of what great faith is. Uh, Matthew 8, 5 through 10, and I'm reading from the New Living Translation. When Jesus returned to Capernaum, a Roman officer came and pleaded with him, Lord, my young servants lie in bed paralyzed and is in terrible pain. Jesus said, I would come and heal him. But the soldier said, Lord, I'm not worthy to have you come into my home. Just say the word from where you are, and my servant will be healed. I know this because I'm under the authority of my superior officers, and I have authority over my soldiers. I only need to say go, and they go, come, and they come. And if I say to my slaves, do this, they do it. When Jesus heard this, he was amazed. Turning to those who was following him, he said, I tell you the truth, I haven't seen faith like this in all Israel. Now, all the Jew, Jews, he, he hadn't seen this kind of faith. This man, he understood authority. He knew that all, all Jesus had to do was say the word, and, and, and he was going to be healed. He didn't have to go touch him. Okay, my page is still on turn. Um, the centurion showed great faith in Jesus' word. He understood that Jesus can heal with his word just as easily as with a touch. The centurion also knew about the military chain of command how the orders of one authority was unquestionably obeyed. The man's understanding of Jesus' spiritual authority made Jesus marvel. He simply, his simple confidence in the ability of Jesus' mere word to heal showed great faith. The, the satirian faith was great. He knew that Jesus could heal for, from a distance. He believed that Jesus did not need to place his hand on the slave, speak to him or pray over him. Just send the word. That's some great faith right there. It is because you trying to get Jesus to do something, you already know it, man. You ain't even got to come. All you got to do, say the word. Say the word, he'll be healed. Hallelujah. I have another example of great faith, um, the woman with the issue of blood, Mark 5, 25 to 34. I love this one. A woman in the crowd has suffered for 12 years with constant bleeding. By then, they call you unclean when you're bleeding. 
and you weren't supposed to be around people. It was against the law to be around people. She had suffered a great deal from many doctors, and over the years, she spent everything she had to pay them. She had gotten no better. In fact, she even gotten worse. She had heard about Jesus, so she came to him through the crowd and touched his robe. For she thought to herself, if I can touch his robe, I will be healed. Immediately, the blood stopped, and she could feel her body that she was healed. Jesus died. All these people out here, he talking about, who touched me? All these thousands of people out here pushing and shoving. Jesus realized at once that healing power had gone out of him. So he turned around in the crowd and asked, who touched my robe? His disciples said to him, look at this crowd pressing around you. How can you say who touched me? But he kept on looking around to see who had done it. And then the, the frightened woman, trembling at the realization of what she had happened to her, came to t fall at his feet and told him what she had done. And he said to her, daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace. Your suffering is over. Now, I can see this lady. She healed by Jesus. And she decided that she's going to go, even though it's against the law for her to be around people. She's going to go. All these people are there. I can see her pressing her way to Jesus. I can see her. She probably got down on her knees to crawl so she have, can get there to him. I can see people stepping on her. They probably was kicking her and saying mean things to her because she wasn't supposed to be out there. You know, she wasn't supposed to be around people. But she knew in her heart if she just got to Jesus and touched his robe, she would be healed. And that's what she did. She didn't care about what nobody said. She didn't care that them people say she can't be around people. She wanted to be healed. And that's what faith does. You got to do something. You got to move. Just because you saying that you have faith in something and you don't do nothing, that faith is dead. You, you're not going to get what you want. This lady Hemerson for 12 years, that's a long time. Women know about that bleeding. But you're talking about 12 years that she's bleeding. Hmm, that took some faith to get out there, Lord. That took some faith. She, I mean, this is a great story. It's a great story. She, she just didn't care what people thought. You know, she could have turned back around because I'm sure people was telling her she wasn't supposed to be up there because I know people know she was bleeding. But she, she kept pressing. She kept pressing. Both of these examples I gave were of great faith. They believed in beyond understanding they did not have any doubt at all. Faith is the choice. I can pray for it. I can fight for it. But in just different situations in my life, it's a choice. I have to choose it. Choosing faith really isn't related to anything concerning my feelings or reasoning at all. The more I choose to believe, the easier it becomes. Faith changes everything. Faith means holding on to God's promises despite how weak I am. Because faith is a choice in the heart, and everyone can make that choice. All it takes is one step of faith. Choose to believe. 
Let faith completely transform your life. 